Hello everybody, this is Theo de Machina, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, TAPS. So I have started the, um, Renaissance Campaign, because it's the only one I hadn't started yet. It's not the only one, but it's one of the ones I hadn't started yet, I was saving it. So, we've got, I've done, see, as you can see, I've not done any, I'm on the first one. A new art wave, wave out of artists. So, things we already know about the artists is they can dodge projectile attacks, which means we're going to have to fight them with melee units. Which means we may want to do something kind of more coordinated. I mean, Renaissance, that was in, uh, was in Italy, so we're going to use that kind of area some, so we're going to use some, uh, the phalanx over here, the guy in the back, and he's supported by Farmer Joe. Alright, phalanx versus random artists. Okay, I think we're doing a good job here. Oh, apparently those sarissas can back up. Ugh, this isn't looking too good. So that didn't work. Maybe we need something with a little bit more oomph in it. With 2,000, and I refuse to start off by using Zeus. Ooh, Monkey King wouldn't be bad. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. We'll put a Minotaur in there. We back him up by a couple squires. Let's try that. Yeah, that'll clear the way some. Squire ought to be batched for one or two. Dad, gum, that Minotaur is just getting, like, artist piled. I don't even know what to call that. There we go, he charged himself out. Man. This is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't think he's going to win this. Man, they have so much health. Yeah, so that didn't work. There's a lot of them, too. You know what? Quantity doesn't work. Just match him head for head in quantity. Just mob them with halflings. Like, I don't have nearly as many units as they do. That's really an issue. Gotta put it in slow-mo here so it looks less like a uh, slideshow. As you can see, when they do hit people, they do release, like, paint. Oh man, that makes some really weird noises. Like, the yeah, scary their dead bodies to intimidate them. I don't know who's gonna win this one. This is gonna be like a draw. I don't know. I've never had to draw on tabs before. I've heard it's possible, but they have to kill each other identically. Like, the exact same moment. Like, and this thing gets down to like the millisecond. I wouldn't go nanosecond, but millisecond, definitely. Ah, I think they've got us yet again. Well, we've got some Valiant Hobbit, but Samwise is not nearly enough to take out that many of those guys. Oh, and they've limited me too. Normally, I just come over here, click the pirate, throw in a couple of bomb throwers, we'd be done by now. But maybe we, can, maybe we can tank them. Bring in some headbutters, just kind of like for some added muscle. So I know the Yarls are kind of, they're they're very much tanky units. They're big. They don't deal a lot of damage, but they can just soak it up and get shoved around. Right into the river. Oh, that was so lucky, because if you fall in that water, you're literally dead. There's no way to escape that. Or rather, you're figuratively, I'm sorry. Figuratively dead. Yeah, tanking it was the right option here. There's no way they're gonna make it. There we go. That feels so good after a couple failed attempts. Double roll. So here we have some if I don't run into some random buildings. Ugh. Fencers, painters, and balloon archers. Balloon archers pick you up in the sky and they drop you. 
these fencers can, like, repost. Like, they can stab you and escape. It's really annoying. Hmm. Well, they only have a select number of those guys, so I'm thinking... Kind of... We kind of do a similar thing here. Send in a couple of brawlers. And back them up by a series of ice archers. A couple of brawlers. Ugh. I'm feeling good about that one. Can I just have a normal archer too? For 100? Yeah, yeah, Normal archer for 140. Sounds good. Ah, oh, I was hoping they go for the farther back ones. No! Spin! Spin's dead. Whoa! Hello, geometry. I've never had that happen in a game. I'm kind of glad. Like, it's like not an honor, but that's... Oh, oh, I've lost. No! Don't go! Okay, so that didn't work. Maybe we have to tank them again? No, no, no. We have to outrange them, right? The balloon archers are the anti-range characters of the game. Well, then let's fight archer with archer, right? You know, just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got a better idea. Samurai can deflect archer arrows. And they can even hit other units. So, they may not be a good against those fencers, but they can definitely get rid of a couple of archers. Being upside down, though, may not work. Nope, that didn't work. I'm gonna take control of the guy and run away. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, come down here. Well, that didn't work. So maybe we try to go even farther away at Quacha. And ninjas. And a ninja backed up by the set. Just spam arrows into the sky. I know you can do that. Uh, I forgot how fast these guys can fire, too. I don't remember what the reload speed on these guys was, but, like, look. Like, they'll shoot. Ah, oh, never mind, I didn't get to that. Anyway, they'll shoot and then they'll, like, instantly reload. It's annoying. Uh, maybe I can snipe them. And just kind of, like, shield bearer to absorb all the arrows. Goes right down the middle. Perfect. I mean, you should be able to tank this, right? Oh, you definitely cannot. You definitely cannot. Retreat. Yeah, okay, I can't even I can't even tank that. Dad gum. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm a straight up idiot. Look at that. Snake archers. They literally shoot snakes to distract enemy units. The balloon archers can't even shoot them, oh my word. The only problem is they have an infernally long reload time. Shoot them, shoot them now. Kill them with fire. Yes! I oh, shall be a snake. I am Pedro the snake, you shall never catch me. Pedro the snake, Pedro the snake, Pedro the snake. Have you ever seen that video of, um, like a, the, look at it, I think it's like a yellow banana anaconda or something like that opens a door, and every time the door, the, the snake opens the door, I, I always think, hello, as it opens the door. I don't know why. Just something in my brain did that once, and I was just, from now on, hello. And, oh my word, it is so good. Maybe I, mean, I can blow them up. Just the old-fashioned way. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Just... Boom! Oh yeah! Oh, it can bounce twice. Back up! 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 Ah, oh, I killed myself. Yes! Let's fire! Left dodge! Left dodge! Right dodge! Oh, darn it! So maybe. 
Maybe this will allow me to do the halfling rush of death. I don't know. I'm kind of... I, normally what I do is I try to go strategy and kind of like do different things, but balloon archers are so unrealistic that I have no strategy against them. They one-shot all the littler units, and they make it so larger units die in two or three hits. The fact that you can, that there are so many additional units protecting them, means that there's no way that you can get to them fast enough before they just completely mug you. Oh, that's annoying. And it's kind of sad watching all the little hobbits float up into the sky. What the heck? Everyone sees this, right? Where they're like things like flip out. I don't know if that's just my computer or what. Oh. Who's the last one? Where is he? Okay, now I'm interested. I've had this... No, no, no. Some maps are like... More... Wow, okay. I did not want me going down there. Is he in the map? Can I get my way in? I don't think I see him. This is the only issue I have with tabs, is every now and then a guy can glitch in the map. And you can have no clue where he is. And he's apparently walking around. <laughs> what? Alright, I'm gonna call that a loss. He could have potentially eventually wandered them off the edge of the cliff. Try that. Scarecrows are great as a ranged unit, and they're fairly anti, uh... What the heck? Why are your birds going in the water? I can't be using it down there already. So when his arm sticks straight back out, then he's ready to shoot again. But until then, we kind of just have to pray he doesn't get hit too often. Yes! Throw the birds! Throw the birds! I think I never thought I'd say, Throw the bird! Throw the bird! Yes? Oh, oh, oh! We got him down some. Darn it! I think I was going somewhere with that one, though. I'd like to put a wheelbarrow over here, and then just a million and one farmers. Because that wheelbarrow technically has multiple lives, and it's kind of heavy, so it was enough of a distraction that... Oh my word! Did you see the dude's just like savage skill? Just shoot and just knifed the bird into oblivion. You got this. You got this. Throw the birds. Throw your birds. Go crows. Okay, nope. I mean, there has to be a way we can just like dumb rush them, right? Oh, wait. Again, I kind of feel dumb for trying this, but it's the best thing I got right now. Yeah, the he's not falling, like flying. I guarantee you, he has too much health. And if anything, you've just made him faster. Oh my word, these guys are so dead. Just not even your little chin strap can save you now. Oh, that's not good. Run away. Excuse me. <gasps> yeah, well, I suck at this character. <laughs> oh, good. Really? It literally hit his feet. I forgot that that can't. Oh, t okay. So we're escalating things, apparently. I forgot that the snuffy can't be picked up. Uh. Ugh, help. Pardon me, sir, but your eyes seem to be sticking out of either side of your helmet. That is not how one wears a helmet. I mean, this guy's at least only doing it with one eye. Oh my word, these units get so weird sometimes. So I think what I can do is I can do... Oh my word, they gave me way too much to do this. 
There's no way I get this wrong, right? Like, not wrong, but like, I screw this up, right? I mean, literally, gets decimated, just rain of death. All the other ones are so hard, why, why would this one be easy? Yeah, I mean, that was super easy. First try, basic warriors. Ooh. What is this? Double sleeve robe. I hope that's actually a thing. Oh. Oh, because they're all wearing sleeves. I get it. <laughs> Tabs units are not known for having large brains, but that is an exceptionally large small head for an exceptionally large body. Uh, I think someone up over here had like, yes, it has she has the sad puppy eyes and a handlebar mustache. But I'm just not a handlebar. I'm sorry, whatever that is. I think that if I just do, if we just do this again. I mean, again, I don't. I like to have patterns and stuff. Maybe I'll try that for another one, like in the next level. But that's the only way I see us getting past those riflemen, because the riflemen, uh, musketeers, I'm sorry, one shot most units, but they have a ridiculously long reload time. Those executioners have a lot of health, and those fencers are going to decimate any melee units I send. So this is probably my best option. Yeah, look at that. And what's worse is those bullets can penetrate. We have bullet penetration in this game, which is ridiculously complex. So they're firing again, we have lost some, but I believe that pointy stick beats firearm every day. Holy smokes, there's a lot of spears in the air. Alright, star formation! Move out! Rock formation! Move out! Yeah, that was, that was mainly a joke. By the way, I wasn't actually going to use that. Alright, I've got an idea. We're going to build... Phalanx. Units. There we go. Across the thing. Double check that they're all lined up. More or less. Uh, I'm going to replace... That guy. There we go. And we're going to back them up with some stereotypical archers. And what we'll do is we'll do like a Carthaginian strategy. We'll just, or English, whichever you prefer, and just rain death from the skies. And we'll use a healer to kind of keep our guys alive. And we'll add one more archer. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, so that volley worked pretty well. About as well as I hope. A healer did a little bit of what he was supposed to do. Volley? We have another volley, please. Thank you. Yeah! Perfect! Oh no, the jousters. These are probably one of the best units in the game, without like any shadow of the doubt. There's a lot of really, really good units, but the jousters move so fast, they deal so much damage, they're very powerful overall. So I'm thinking, if we do this, cat may be trying to get in my room, I'm sorry, it's kind of annoying. If we do this, then we'll fire the arrows, it'll slow them down just enough, the orcs won't completely wreck us. They have an amazingly fast reload speed, but nothing is going to save them from that thing. By the way, if the guy dies, the horse can still fight. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Behind the back! Wait, where's another guy? Oh, we did not win that at all. So hang on. Here's my thought. Here's another thought process. Horse or land-based units? Let's see them take to the skies. As we attack them with a couple of people. Yeah, the Valkyrie should be able to do something. At least keep it in the air. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll attack that rider. Oh, perfect. Yes! 
Yes. All right. Ooh, okay. Balloons. Uh, that's what the title is doing. This is interesting. Uh, this is the problem actually I have with this campaign. These balloons are a secret unit. They're not actually available in the faction. They, they don't actually exist in the faction. The balloon archers definitely do. These guys should not. These guys should be the secret unit. These guys shouldn't be. These guys are the more annoying to fight. These guys are pieces of cake. As it is, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take off the back row here. And protect these guys with a series of samurai warriors. Let's see how this works. Because when they shoot, should deflect for the most part. Those fireworks should explode some. I can take control of one of these guys. First person though. I, I honestly feel bad for these guys. These guys have to wobble so much. I think I got someone. Right, we're gonna move up. We're gonna stay low. Stay low, stay frosty. We're gonna be down here where nobody can see us. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off now. Sweet! We got him! Firework archers with the uh, the Da Vinci tank. We're going to need some sniper firepower if we're going to want to beat this guy. We're going to triple those. Uh, double. And we'll just have a line of samurai to kind of buffer the impact and deflect those balloon arrows. Okay, no, that did not work the way it was going to. I wanted it to. Rather, I'm going to use what I have fondly called the death machine. Because this thing is literally unstoppable. Ballistas have the firepower in this game as a nuclear warhead. Just watch. Pull back. They release. Right into the middle of that thing. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't. No, 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 don't aim over there. Da Vinci tank, excuse me. There we go. Shoot the Da Vinci tank. Don't shoot the archer. Da Vinci tank, Da Vinci tank. Keep moron. We're dead. We're so dead. Ah! Okay. Maybe we need to put these guys a little bit closer up to the front. There. I'll take control of one as well. Oh, come on! Forget that. Forget all this. I still feel like we need to really outrange him. He had a thousand swords of samurai? Sure. Really? Hmm. Ah, oh, very good. Very well then, sir. You've given me no choice but the infinite shot trick. If you can't spin, then you can't shoot. Eat that Da Vinci. Actually, there's a Da Vinci. See him flailing. Hang on. Super duper slow motion going on here. Eh. Da Vinci. Eventually, one of these will get you. Eventually, I said, one of these will get you. Run away. Run away. No! Oh! I'm apparently the last one. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off one of these. And I'm gonna put him up here. And that's gonna be me. Haha, -ha, you can't shoot up here, suckers! Apparently they can. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Exploded Severo. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, that is so neat. Gotta go meet them. Go back up, back up. I didn't know he would be here so quickly. No! Okay. So maybe instead of that, maybe a ninja instead would be a little bit better. Alright. Alright. Just like rain ninja stars out the window. a million and one throwing stars out the window. Oh, that was close. Just chuck throwing stars out the window. Chuck throwing stars out the window. I don't want to know what that was. Alright, so then I'm assuming that they'll be good. Oh, that was close. Nope, nope, nope. Bad. Bad. Oh, this thing is a roof. Never mind. Ah, you're no match for me at close range. You can whiff like an arrow in my kneecap. Oh, throw the throwing stars! Throw the throwing stars! Ah. <laughs> Listen to that thing deflate. What? Walk. Are you freaking kidding me? Can I even get down? The Da Vinci tank's over there. I'm over here. I'm gonna try to like no, 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 no. walk all the way around. So how's your day going? Just Ninja Joe walking along through the. Actually, if the, if I didn't know this was a combat game, this would actually be very relaxing. Cause they like wandering the maps. Kill me, please. Jump me out the window. I, I bet if I get close enough and I released him, he could walk through that barrier, right? He's so mad, he's just throwing them into the ground. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I can walk forward now, apparently. I don't know what was stopping me before. I'm coming for you. Oh my word, you can hear it. Dude, how, so much, how slow can you walk down some stairs? Oh my word, ninjas are so slow. Who knew, right? Oh, hi! Really? Darn it! Alright, so that really does not work. We need to rethink this. I still think that the only way I'm gonna possibly beat this is if I, like, Nuke it from orbit. Da Vinci tanks are so hard to beat. Like, I can see him getting frozen inside of there. Like you can see that that ring of it being slowed. Like they've shot in here already. But those cannons are just so powerful. Getting him to jump into the river, that's nice. Like, quick. Die fish. Hmm. I'm gonna try putting an ice archer up here. I know, I know I'm trying a lot of the same things, but it's the only way I'm, I think I can beat it. Oh, that was close. Ooh, ball straw. I don't think it's gonna save me a second time though. Maybe able to. Take him out! Take him out! Snipe him! Snipe him! Yes, snipe him! Oh he's so close! Oh I will have gotten one. Oh, I'm the last guy again. Oh, we'll just 
sit here for two minutes and then take off the tank. <laughs> or not. Darn it! Um... Yeah, hang on, give me just a second. So one thing I hope you realized, I figured out how to edit. It took me a while, but I figured it out. Number two, I figured out how to beat the tank. Just, just watch. It worked last time. It's gotta work this time. Yeah, see, you, they, the, the Valkyrie and the Berserkers are so fast they can just jump in, and you take out the tank. I mean, I'm feeling confident with that strategy again. So now, but some more Berserkers. More Valkyries. And that causes them to miss all their shots. So, really, the Viking unit is the anti Renaissance faction. Not the unit, faction, what am I saying? Yeah, he's just gonna get worn down by that Valkyrie who can't get touched. Alright. I feel like I can just tank it. Or do the same thing that I did last time. Just nuke it from orbit. Dead gum, that went down fast. With the Valkyrie's, like, smash, like, smash and grab kind of ability, that gets very overpowered against... Oh, my word. Especially if the other team falls in the river. Alright. Oh, wait, did we lose? I think we may have lost there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try a different strategy, but I think we lost. Otherwise, I'd reset the level without knowing it. I mean, we literally can just chase him down at this point. Yes! Climb him in the closet. Better good. Alright, we will do this as our final level of the evening. Or actually, my evening. It may be whatever you have. Again, I love the new kit strategy. But you know what? We're going to do some legitimate strats here. So we're going to put a series of shield bearers in front to deflect most of those shots. So risk us behind them to complete the phalanx. Then follow it up with a traditional thing of having two rows of light infantry. This would be our heavy infantry. This is our this 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 is our heavy infantry. This is our light infantry. Follow it up with a couple of rows of archers. One siege machine and then a couple of commanders in the back, like highly specialized units. Let's see how that does. I mean, again, it's tabs. Spamming hobbits effectively works every single scenario. But yeah, I think this is working fine. The melee units are doing what their job. Keep the other melee units at bay. Ugh, that's not good. That's really not good. I mean, these two archers were protecting the thing with... Ah, uh, that's it. Darn it. Maybe not so many archers, and maybe snake archers. The snake archers should cover my advance much better. Yeah! Swordsmen fight them. The guns don't get as many kills, because they got confused by the snakes with flight. We can close a little better. Oh, perfect. Yes, beautiful. Send in the snakes. That should be Jerry the Snake. Jerry the Snake will be in for the kill. Oh, well, well, apparently you can just die if you die. Jerry the Snake, go! Oh, oh. Darn it, the snake died too quickly. Hmm. Maybe not Sarissa's here. Ooh! Drop them in as Berserkers instead. Let's take out a row of these guys. Yeah! 
and we'll add a couple of spear throwers for just general combat needs and another square so here's my kind of here's here's my general strategy these guys should block quite a few of the shots or take them as kind of like body blockers these guys will jump over the shields keeping them from dying with the initial volley or hopefully distracting the first volley of the riflemen the squires are effectively meat shields slash they are hopefully maybe a couple guys can take them out they can take out a couple guys rather these are spear these spear throwers are going to be lobbing the spears up and over the heads of our units hypothetically injuring various melee units the snake archers shall distract and allowing our guys to close without having the enemies attack them and hopefully keep ranks better the uh, hoplites in the back are kind of just like our heavy infantry they'll move in and they'll deal damage while hopefully being protected by a couple musket shots the catapult is here to deliver massive damage over the heads of our guys let's see if it actually works perfect first volley was distracted melee move it move, move, move in we took out a couple of the musketeers catapult fires takes out some more guys the snakes are distracting it's not ideal but the hoplites should give a great number oh that guy just got face oh oh not good not good not good you, spear thrower, you're with me. We gotta go. Musket men's are gonna get us. Oh, that's not good. Never mind. So that will be it for today. Thank you for watching. I don't know how long it's been. Normally I keep a little look at a time, but I feel that's, that's enough for now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time watching. Uh, if you could pass this video on, so if you can, I don't care if you subscribe, I don't care if you like, be helpful, but if you can share it with one other person that you know, I'd be extremely, uh, I'd be extremely thankful. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.